Hello people, I'm back. Ah, the great lion win here. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm at a basketball court in case you wanted to bet. I think what the heck? Let's go ahead and get this on done right, right? A little different. I guess today we're gonna start the subject off is thank you, Lions are winning. Good job, coach going for the fourth down. And I guess we start off with before we go too far about Lions, blender of the week. I don't know, I got two of them this week. One, I guess somebody sees it, they're gonna be pretty upset with me when I make this video. But the MSU offense, the MSU handling quarterback, MSU offense is not official. That's to the point that they don't need to wear deodorant. <laughs> it's just terrible. They got the nation's best defense, they might end up finishing almost in the bottom of Big Ten. This is a sad situation coming. Just so sad. And next blunder of the week, RG3. <sighs> Poor boy, he probably never played baseball in his life. Now I know that because he slides head first. The first thing the coach tells you to go to second base, you slide feet first. They get those hands reaped. That's also why the NFL ground can cause a fumble in that situation. Well, he slid head first. And what happened is, he phoned the ball Detroit turnover. Thank you, RG3, for the gift wrap. He ain't ready yet. He'll probably be good. He'll be all right. Watch him make the playoffs, but he'll, he'll get out of the dumb drum this 0-1-3 situation. So, let's see now. My next thing to speak on today is... Comeback of the week. Well, actually, I have three of them. Uh, first, the great Detroit Titans, which are about one magic number one to clinch a playoff by the way. The first thing I will say it is they're down six to nothing in the ninth inning, score six for that tied up, one on the walk off single on the 12th inning Saturday night. At the same time, UVM was down 21 7. Come back to win. Uh, 24-21 over UConn. I know you're saying that was a week school they were over for the season, but anytime you got to play a team that's jacked up, excited, they have a night game in their home stadium, it's not going to be that easy. And especially not easy when your quarterback not only the guys, his own team gives him another 90 game of legend of Ohio High Tony winner. That's a lot of pressure. They held up well, Michigan still undefeated. And my third one of the week is give a shout out to the Cincinnati Bengals. 14 point lead. Down 16, never ever happened in NFL history. Wow. And they came back and beat, beat Green Bay. I don't know. Like I said, been a rough one this weekend. And crazy, eh? So we get Blender of the Week, Mess Up of the Week. So we got Blender of the Week and Comeback of the Week. And my next segment is ON3 Done. Well, Steelers, Jacksonville, Minnesota Vikings, Skin, Giants, and I think it might be somebody else I'm missing the 0 3 list. But uh, these doggone teams, which one of them have a chance to make the playoff? You know, I don't think any of them are going to make it at this point. Uh, I basically give my best shot to the Redskins because they actually got the best quarterback. No, not really. You know, these have great defenses. Giants, because they've been there and done this before. Steelers, well, shout out to my cousin here down in, uh, from Pittsburgh, grew up there. I think she's in New York State now, but you know, uh, y'all beat by the Bears, you're gonna beat by the Lions too. So I ain't gonna let you get that over with now. Y'all not gonna come close to playoffs. Uh, you gotta draft the wide receiver there, somebody with some height and speed. Jacksonville, well you go ahead and y'all gonna start playing around. Go sign Tim Tebow. Just go sign the man, he can play football. Sign Tim Tebow. Let him loose on Sunday. You will sell out. Plus, I'm sure they're about tired of watching his bad not be able to watch your bad football because of the blackout rule. Wow, 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 wow. Well, let's see. Minnesota. Well, AP, you got a long got some work to do here, man. I mean, let's see, you had 80, 100, and and 93 yards. That's uh 273 yards. You got 2200 yards to get in about 13 more games. That's a lot of yards per game. Anybody want to dare do the math on that one? Be my guess. I'm not in the county, but it's got to be something like about 150 yards a game plus. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm pretty good at math. I'm kind of lazy today. And let's see. 
Uh, let's see, Redskins. Y'all have hope. Y'all probably get back to 500, but y'all not going to come close to a playoff spot. So if my 0-3 list teams right here, Giants might be on team they can because they've done they've been down this messed up road before. Uh, let's see. We get down here. Let's see. We talk about D three. They already did come back of the week. Local prop of the week. Yeah. Usually I'd have this time like a newer segment here. You know, I got to say it all. Mr. Know it all. You might be proud of this one. You've even seen this guy play before too, way back in the day. There's a young man from Michigan University, and he's from Detroit, Michigan. That's why he is getting local prop of the week. Uh, game winning touchdown pass. And the Miami Dolphins win over the Atlanta Falcons. Who, and by the way, they all be the friend of Miami in another segment in a minute here. But the Deion Sims. I remember him this tall, skinny kid. look like tall to me and 12 years old. Funny look like this. Guess what? I'm not planning to ever take him on the line, line screen. Dude look like a dog on should be a left tackle. He got good hands though, as you saw on Sunday. Game one touchdown pass. Props out to Deion Sims and the West Side Cubs. Uh whoever, you know, there's a couple people on here that actually a couple alumni I'm sure is gonna love to hear this. So gotta give man the props. <sighs> Let's see next. Okay, we call this segment Rookie Showdown. Yeah, we got Gino versus EJ. EJ Manio and Geno Smith. A great showdown to rookie. But uh, Geno Smith proved he's a good pro quarterback. He needs a better offensive team around him, but he held up pretty good considering all in all. Love the brother. He did a good job. The Jets surprisingly actually have a winning record. Why? The only loss against New England. Hey, I can give it up to y'all. Y'all actually done a heck of a job rebuilding. Can you make the problems with rookie? Yes, you can. Defense, they got a defense. Watch out for the Jets. Uh, next segment. Major shocks. Major shocks. I mean, literally, don't be watch your electrical be on this one, boy. My my biggest shocks of the week are three of them. Kansas City Chiefs, 3-0. Hey, no way heck on Thursday night I thought they were ever gonna beat the Eagles. No way, Jose. Well, I got a surprise happened to me. Wham, 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 they won. Shock number two, Miami Dolphins beating Atlanta Falcons, 3-0, oh, wow. I thought, that, well, that AFC East is gonna be very interesting with them and the Jets and the Patriots. Poor Bills is gonna be a long season. I think they're the other 0-3 team we have to watch out. Uh, it's gonna get kind of ugly before it gets better out there. No, actually they're not 0-3 because they beat the Panthers a little week. Well, AFC East, best division in football right now. Next segment. Yes. The undefeated. Uh, let's see. Patriots, Bears, Broncos, Kansas City, uh, the Saints, and Seahawks. Whew. Now, here goes what we're going to do. Let's pick a Super Bowl contender out of this group. Right now, hands down, Denver Broncos. And, of course, the Bears and all the rest of them, you know. I'll get back to them in a minute. I'll get back to the minute. They ain't supposed to win that game Sunday night. I'll get back to that in a minute, trust me. That's me in my next segment. But I will say this much. Patriots look good. They'll probably get they'll probably go far in the playoffs. Uh Seahawks, watch out round two against the 49ers. Uh let's see. Dolphins and Kansas City. I mean Dolphins and Kansas City. I don't know. Y'all got a lot to prove still to me. At least I know, at least I know the Seahawks do have some of track history. Of course, we know about the Patriots history. They dang near almost went perfect one year. And of course, the Bears won game short in 85 going and went to Super Bowl one. And the Broncos, well, you know, they've been to playoffs with Tim Tebow before and they actually have a better quarterback than him. So, but I said Broncos are a better overall team, even with suspensions of Von Miller. And that goes into my next segment. Kid, don't do drugs. I tell you what, even if you become a professional athlete, it will catch up to you at some point. See, right now we're talking about all this mail and Von Miller. Find out Von Miller gets added to suspension because he tried to go switch drug sample test. We have been able to do that 15, 20 years. Actually, I'm a family member. I'm not going to name names right now, but if y'all listen to the video, you'll figure out who later on. Well, they actually asked me to do this for them before. Well, they didn't ask me to do it before, but they have mentioned up doing it before. And I, I just like, yeah, back then you get away with it. No, it's like, they gonna take you, go and take a test. You go and have several guys ask them to do that. And it's not going to all the spin. He do drugs. The dude's a great athlete. At some point, I don't care how great you are, how long you're hiding, 
kid, you cannot do drugs. This is why you kids that watch sports out there and think elves and grown folks too. You can't get high, go play basketball or basketball court. Gee whiz, your boy's gonna run out win two or three times down this court. Trust me, I'm 40 years old. I start running most of these jokers still nowadays at 17, 18, 19 years old while they helping the public. I told them they probably have them when we playing at 30 and I'll still be out here when I'm 50. So kids, don't do drugs, don't do cigarettes, don't do alcohol. You're gonna try to be a great athlete. Keep it clean, baby, keep it clean. <sighs> yeah, well all this spills though, my last comments on that is, Brother, you need help. I'm glad you made it early enough for your career. Because I'm like, even if you make it through your career, imagine hide it out. Oh, God, don't be like LT calls us after outside your life doing it. Just get it straight now. Thank you very much, y'all. This was good stepping up. Let's get it clean. And let's not dr drink and drive. Bad example for the kids in the Bay Area. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Which I'm going to piggyback to the next segment about the Bears now. We're going to go into. Is that the segment we're getting to yet? Let's see, we got blunders of the week done. Yep, yep. I got my local prop Theon. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, uh, yeah. Gino versus uh, versus EJ in the rookie showdown. Oh, next week. Next week showdown. Next week showdown. Yep, it's about to be on, baby. Next week showdown. Oh, yeah. I've been waiting for this second. Cause Mr. Know It All comes cranking on me all on his last video last week on Tuesday. He cracked the Lions Law. Now I, I want him to get on page on Tuesday and give props to them winning number one. And number two, before I get back to them, we're gonna skip the Lions in a second. I I'm working my way to them. Okay. Denver, Kansas City. It's gonna be the showdown of the undefeated. I know Denver hasn't played that Monday night game yet, but guess what? Whew, we it's gonna be on, baby. Denver can't be undefeated. Remind me of the good old uh, Money Schottenheimer versus, uh, hey, going with that other coach from Denver back in the day. It's Schottenheimer and, uh, uh, was it not Dan Henning, uh, Dan Reeves. Dan Reeves and Money Schottenheimer days. Yeah. Or Joe Montana days. Oh, don't forget about Derek Thomas. Uh, Terrell Davis, and of course Shannon Sharp. Man, he would love this. You know, he's a big talker. <laughs> well, you know, that's what they call me to say it all. Mr. No, it all don't know everything. So this goes back to the next week's segment. Yeah, next week's showdown. Next week's showdown. Yep, part two of this. Lions versus Bears, part one. Yeah, you know what? Because your chump butt team beat the pitch first still you're supposed to. Thank you very much. Cause I was gonna talk about you, but I get proud. Bears took care of business. Two, two TD returns, 40 points with a four. Wow. Now that's offensive. Y'all need to order it, Michigan State, no. Yeah, I'm cranked on Michigan State. I'm sure I'll post this on Michigan State phase. There'll be a few offended people who are replying to this. Well, huh. Lions versus Bears. Every year the trash talk league goes on. I know y'all defense been tough. Y'all cause turnovers. But did y'all see Stafford? 385 yards. Cut the through for a buck 50. You think against, against a better defense? Lions go pick them off twice, running back to the house from there. And they ain't seen no defensive line like Detroit's yet this season. We got a good pass with him, uh, Ashna, number 94, the rookie. Then you got Sue and Farley clogging up the middle. And even Farley, 100%, trust me, Sue can disrupt enough folks. And y'all think y'all stand a chance. Well, Mr. Know It All, what do you know? What are you going against Megatron? You see the receivers, Lions got loose 100 yards. Y'all haven't yet yet to him wide receiver go for 100 yards. Have y'all yet this season or at least two of them in the same game? No. Y'all have some a little more offense in Michigan State, though. I'll give you that much. Gee, with Michigan State, you're so non-offensive. I have to keep going on about this at all times. Oh, man. Like I said, we're ready for y'all. This time, we got Lunky left tackle take on Julius Peppers. He don't kill our quarterback. Huh. My predictions again. Yes, I'm putting out a lamb here. I'm on, I'm on line here. 28, 17 Detroit. Yeah, we're going to Chicago taking you out, flat out. And I'm sure on Tuesday, Mr. Know It All, you're gonna have a lot to say about this. But I'm putting it on blast right now, that's right. But like I said though, y'all can't do nothing. Make it try and Nate Burleson. And we put Sheffler back in. Thank you, Jim Swartz, for getting with Ben Chain Pettigrew. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm sure this was my longer rant in a while because he ain't got me all fired up last week. 
So, Mr. Uh, what do you know about the prediction on Sunday again? I need to hear what you're going to say. Well, people out there, YouTube land, Facebook, Twitter, and I'm going to try and link it up to Instagram at some point. I think this might be too long of a video for that. I'll probably hit a couple more social media sites, including I do have my still MySpace account still active. So, if folks will hear me more of me out here, this is not the only video going to be up this week. Oh, go Lions, go, go Tigers. Playoff runs coming, baby. Pitts will be back this year, stronger and better than ever. With training camp coming a couple more weeks, and uh, hockey players do not jump off the bench in a preseason game with Carl in the middle of a brawl. Ten game suspension. Gee, with all right, cut Batman, all right, cut your cap money as it is. Get it straight. I see you later, YouTube land. Let's go. Love you, peace.